So today we filmed Howard's scene in The Void. Yeah, it was really uh, interesting. You know, the key story, emotively, is a person that did not go to heaven, but went to hell. Right after my near-death experience, I did a few drawings. These are just two of them. This one is the only one I've ever done of me in that hellish place being torn apart. Since it was in abject darkness, it's kind of hard to depict. You can see here people eating pieces of me. That's what that guy represents. And if you look at their hands, they're like tearing, they're biting and tearing and ripping me apart. So it's really gross and it's disturbing. The months of shot listing with the directors and Austin was in. A lot of it based off of what we're capturing with the interviews. If we have this scene set up. A lot of planning went into how the scene's gonna play out. This is the key point in the film, emotively. It's endless darkness. Scenes that take place in what we call the void. We captured the void in two different locations. One was an old hospital set where we filmed the hallway. And the other was on a sound stage where we filmed the infinite void with these hellish demons grabbing at me, pulling at me, is a pretty dynamic action scene. The inspiration for the look of the void beans actually came from my son, Branson, heavily inspired by Lord of the Rings. Just look straight. A hallway here that mimics the hallway that he was in in Paris. When he steps in, we're doing a, a bit of a lighting configuration. So we're transitioning from this hallway scene into where we're shooting on a stage here. The challenge with making hell scenes was battling less is more. Where he went into hell. And then, Doug, uh, one note for you. Yes, I You just have to take it one moment at a time, one scene at a time. So in the scene where I'm getting violated by these monsters, I am thinking about all the evil, bad things they're, they're gonna do to me, and not only now, but forever. This is the worst place a person could ever, ever be. Luckily, that character was saved. We also filmed the scenes for meeting God. They very commonly see a light. But they say that it's not the light that comes from a light. With two actors playing two different parts that would play out during the film. They actually are waking up. We've crewed up all around the world, 28 countries. I would say this team down here, G&E, Art, everything is at the top level. Good friend of mine who's an actor in Mexico. He's a very well-known actor. Uh, he did a show with Jason. Rodrigo and... He gave him my number. He called me. I was still doing the other show. And it all happened really quickly. Like... On a Monday and on a Tuesday I was working with him. So it was very quick. It was a very quick decision. The shortest prep I ever had, one week. <laughs> that's, that's really short for the amount of content and shots that we were trying to do. Jason and Jens, uh, it was honestly a dream to work with them on this project. Talking with Jason and Jens and Bryce, like, very down to earth and very nice and very kind. And I'm very happy I, I joined your team.